Hello, this is a uh, Global Post Forum, Thomas, and uh, welcome back to the Global Post Forum channel. We would like to talk about the ports in uh, South Asia. Uh, this category, um, which is a very exciting last 20 years uh, for countries like India, um, major ports in Mumbai, uh, major ports happening in uh, Chennai, uh, and, and, and uh, much of the Indian growth stories come with a uh, uh, growth of Indian ports. Uh, very major uh, port-based port infrastructure-based conglomerate is the Adani Group, which owns uh, a lot of the privately run uh, ports all over uh, India, like uh, the one in Mundra. Uh, so, other than India, which is uh, very much of a very big growth story, India has uh, now been the fifth largest economy in the world, the largest being US as around 20 trillion, China as around 15 trillion, uh, the third largest probably is uh, Japan at about uh, 4.9 trillion, and uh, the next being Germany at about maybe 3.8 trillion, and then the fifth uh, is our uh, Indian economy has about 3.1 or 3.2 trillion. Unfortunately, because of the outbreak of uh, COVID-19, uh, we will find, and, and India being one of the leading locations where the outbreak is, uh, outbreak is one of the worst, at about 4 million cases, we see the economy of uh, uh, India slowing down more than some other countries. Uh, in 2020 and uh, certainly because of that uh, the ports of India will be affected uh, slightly more than some other countries. But other than India, we have uh, in South uh, Asia, we have uh, very exciting happenings like in Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan economy is not big but because of the fact that uh, China has agreed to develop Pakistan in the China-Pakistan economic corridor of nearly 60 over billion. So many of the infrastructure has been developed. Coal ports in uh, Kasim, uh, Karachi port expansion, Hutchinson port, uh, Karachi has been doing extremely well. Uh, ports in Lahore and also uh, definitely the new port of Guada. Uh, a lot of uh, port railways are planned and uh, we see that uh, Pakistan, due to their very close economic relations with China, will benefit from a lot of uh, Chinese investment in the next 10-20 uh, years. Other than the India and Pakistan, we, we have uh, Bangladesh which have about probably 120, 150 million people now. Pardon me, I, I didn't check the exact population figure. But Bangladesh has a huge population, except that uh, maybe Bangladesh uh, is a bit poor, but then the, the opportunity for the ports, uh, because they are uh, less, uh, not that developed, so there are opportunity for the ports. Uh, there's a lot of talk of developing the ports of Chattagong, expanding, expanding it. Uh, we see uh, JK coming in, good news uh, for the people of Bangladesh. Uh, there are also inland ports that are developed by Nepal, together with help from the Chinese uh, railway coming to Kamandu. Uh, also uh, changes in uh, uh, Myanmar. Myanmar is uh, in uh, South Asia or also part of Southeast Asia, uh, but uh, the Yangon has been closed off uh, under sanction for so many years. It has barely opened for 10 years and from a very low ground. Uh, there is a location on the southern part of Yangon, southern part of Myanmar, where pipeline is, is already uh, completed to pipe uh, oil into Yunnan. Uh, and, and that location is now being developed into a port city. And if the Chinese uh, can have their way in Myanmar, uh, given they are very close to the Myanmar government, 
uh, if they develop a full industrial city with a full functioning container port, then that container port will become a very important container port for the southwest area of Yunnan province and uh, probably uh, Sichuan province. Because uh, bearing in mind, looking at the geographical location of these two provinces, at least even the Guizhou province of China, they do not have a port. It's a landlocked area. The closest port they have is in Chongqing, but Chongqing is a river port. So the Chinese have very strong initi initiative to develop the port of Myanmar. Uh, the southern part of Myanmar Right, the southern port of Myanmar, <coughs> which is the carrying oil into 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 China, that will be a very important area. Uh, uh, I may not pronounce it properly. It's called U Q uh, K Y A U K P Y U U Q port in the western part of Myanmar, southern Myanmar. That is very important because during the last World War II, the Chinese realized that while being having a base in Chongqing, which is southern west China, uh, the state capital, the, the national capital of war China, uh, they, they need war supplies from Myanmar as a, from the backing, from the back of China, behind China. So uh, if, if the Myanmar people do not object, the Chinese people will invest probably another 10, 15 billion. Uh, please, uh, we have to record that the, the Chinese actually, Chinese President Xi visited Myanmar on uh, probably 16, 17 January. And one week later, uh, when, he, when President Xi went back to China, he announced the shutdown of uh, Wuhan and then the whole COVID-19 uh, pandemic episode. Uh, starts from the 23rd of January until today. So, the development of uh, uh, the UQ port in uh, Myanmar, although Myanmar is considered Southeast Asia, but knowing that Myanmar just is a neighbor of uh, Bangladesh, it's also very close to uh, very close to South Asia. And if the port in Myanmar is developed, then the ports in Bangladesh will probably be uh, expediting. So we look forward to the Chinese effort uh, and whoever the one want to help Myanmar to develop the port. And if the port really develop uh, and that, that will really connect to Yunnan, uh, Kunming, and uh, connect to Sichuan, and also connect to Chongqing, and also connect to Guizhou. And it will just uh, cause a big bomb, cause a big bomb, I mean a boom, to the, to the, to the port uh, in uh, that southern area. Although now it's, it's just an oil and gas port, but I, we, we see uh, container terminals and uh, many more business coming in in the southern part of Myanmar. It's a very strategic one. Now, the last area of uh, South Asia we want to mention, which is a very important port of uh, Sri Lanka in uh, predominantly uh, Colombo. Uh, Colombo and uh, Sri Lanka uh, itself uh, has probably about 7 million TEU uh, and, and, and is a very important transshipment hub in South Indian subcontinent. Uh, the country, uh, although it's uh, having a lot of trouble over the last 30, 40 years, the last 10 years has seen lots of development. There is also a new port of southern uh, Sri Lanka called Hambantota. The Chinese have taken 99%, uh, sorry, 80% 80, 80 of the, of the uh, port in Hambantota and run by China Merchant Port. And uh, we look forward to new development in Sri Lanka. With that, we'd like to thank you for listening to the uh, Global Ports Forum channel. Although we bring in uh, Myanmar in South Asia, but we, we think uh, whatever happened in Myanmar, it will just spread to Bangladesh and maybe to India and maybe also to Sri Lanka uh, and, and also to the neighboring countries like maybe Thailand.
<laughs> so we look forward to the changes in South Asia in terms of the port business. Thank you.